Hello, I'm Lynn Moreland, Physician Assistant at Tennessee Weight Loss and Surgical Center, located in Knoxville, Tennessee at the University of Tennessee Medical Center. Today, we're going to invite you along as Dr. Mancini performs an adjustment to a gastric band. As a quick review, the adjustable gastric band works by limiting the amount of food your stomach can hold. In order for it to work properly, the band has to be adjusted by adding or removing fluid from it. This is called an adjustment. Adjustments tighten or loosen the band around your stomach. These adjustments are made by placing a needle through the skin and into the port which lies under the skin on the abdomen. Saline solution is then added or removed from the band through this port. Dr. Greg Mancini is the director of the Tennessee Weight Loss and Surgery Center at the University of Tennessee Medical Center, Knoxville, Tennessee. When you arrive for your clinic visit, your physician will ask you a series of questions such as, how long after you eat are you hungry again? Are there any foods that you cannot tolerate? How much weight have you lost since your last visit? These may be indications that your band needs to be adjusted. Here, Dr. Matthew Mancini is asking his patient how long it takes for her to be hungry following a meal. Once we determine an adjustment is needed, we have you lie down on the exam table. The equipment we use to perform your band adjustment includes a needle syringe to draw saline into the syringe, a larger needle to access the port and place the saline into the band, a betadine swab to sterilize the abdomen. Dr. Mancini will palpate your abdomen to find where the port is located. We will then swab the betadine over the port site on your abdomen. While he is doing this, an assistant will fill the syringe with saline and then change the needle to the one that will be used to inject the saline into the port. Dr. Mancini then carefully accesses the port with the needle. Once the needle is in the port, all fluid will be withdrawn to verify the amount of fluid in the band is correct. This is done to ensure that no leak has occurred from the tubing since the last adjustment. He will then replace the correct amount of fluid into the band. Afterward, a small band-aid is placed on the injection site. Then you will sit up and sip some water over a few minutes to make sure that the adjustment did not make the band too tight to swallow liquids.